Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. And this is Young Womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyle, college, fashion, marriage, all of the above. So if you like that type of content, make sure to subscribe. But this is my week of Christmas countdown vlog. So it's just everything that I've been doing over winter break up to Christmas day. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. Good morning, happy Monday. And this is my little countdown to Christmas. So Christmas is on Sunday of next weekend. So we have, I'm gonna say seven days away until Christmas. So that's exciting. <laughs> Today, I went to the gym already, which is awesome because it's 10 21 so that's pretty good for me pretty early before i take a shower i wanted to make my cookie dough because i'm making sugar cookies tonight for our young adult service so i wanted to make that real fast and it's supposed to sit in the fridge for a few hours so i'll shower while that's sitting in the fridge so i was just going to show you that process told me to wrap the dough into two pieces in parchment paper but I only have foil so hopefully that works but I'm gonna put these in the fridge for two hours and then I'll come back done showering and I'm gonna do some content planning but I really hair my face I really want my content planning to be intentional because I feel like just posting to post like and having no purpose behind it is going to do nothing it's the platforms are already saturated and people don't want to see another girl posting things so I want to make sure it's intentional and I really want to pray through it and ask the Lord what do you want me to use these platforms for like what do you want me to be posting about and really just giving it to him because I know that I'm passionate about this and I want to do it but it will never be successful if he's not in it. So that's what I'm going to spend my time doing. I probably won't record it, but I'll see you probably when I'm eating lunch later. It is almost time to take out the cookies from the refrigerator. Sorry, I'm doing my hair. I got the oven preheating. I got a cutting board out for me to roll them on. And I have three little cute steaks. What are these called? Cookie cutters. <laughs> oh, stencils. I got a candy cane, snowman, and a stocking. I don't know why I didn't get a tree. That makes so much sense, but whatever. So I'm going to be using those guys. And I got a rolling pin too. Because I realized I didn't have one for this project. So I got one at the store when I went earlier today. <music> sugar cookie thing is turning out to be very hard <laughs> and I think I messed up the first batch because they are burnt. I piled them up here. These ones turned out a little better. I ripped those on accident. Some burnt spots but they're better. 
than the first batch over here. And I think this is because I made them too thin. So I'm making these thick boys because <laughs> I don't want that to happen again. And I want to have good sugar cookies. I need an apron. So if anyone wants to buy me a last minute Christmas present or a late Christmas present, buy me an apron because I need to wash all my clothes. They're so dirty. So yeah, this has been a process. It hasn't been as cute as it looks like on Pinterest. I've been having a hard time. I just wanted to share my cookie struggles with you. I just got ready for young adults because I won't have time later. So let me show you my fit. So here's my outfit. I have this black turtleneck from H&M, American Eagle sweater, American Eagle jeans, and then my black Doc Martens. And this necklace is just from a local boutique. It's a little flower, it's so cute. And then my hoops are from Altered State. But this is going to be my casual fit. I think it's Christmassy enough. I thought about doing a red lipstick, but I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna be too much, so we'll see. We are about to leave for young adults now. So I got my food for on the road, my dinner. So I probably won't vlog anymore today because it's normally a stressful time for us to get to church and get everything set up. So don't want to be overwhelmed, but yeah. So hopefully it goes well and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's six days until Christmas. Alec is working over there and I am not doing anything good. <laughs> I went and got Starbucks. It's like 10 o'clock ish and I have no explanation. I just couldn't do good things for myself today. Well, actually, this could be a good thing for me, depending on how you look at it. So, what are you laughing? So, I'm just going to watch some YouTube, and then I'm going to lunch with my mom later. And that's the agenda for today. Here's my OOTD. American Eagle, American Eagle, American Eagle, Converse. Because these are all things I had when I worked there, so... I still wear them, <laughs> but now I'm on my way to lunch with my mom. I haven't vlogged much today, but um, we're going to eat dinner because Tuesday is day night. Yeah. Today's day when I, if you can hear me. Stop! I'm talking to the camera. Why are you yelling at me? Because all my vlogs are drumming in the background and I can't talk to the camera with background noise. I think the people appreciate it. No, they want to hear what I have to say. We're going on a date and I don't know what we're doing after that, but Tuesdays are for day nine. Day nine. Even though I have this ugly pimple. I didn't even notice until you pointed it out. That's so embarrassing. Maybe we should cancel the date. Uh, I'm buying food, so regardless, <laughs> I'm going to get food. Well, we'll see you there, I guess. artiste that's what you are <laughs> good morning it's wednesday five days until christmas and i feel overwhelmed today and i'll share why because i feel like people that don't think like me people that aren't task driven and always feeling the need to do things they don't understand why i feel overwhelmed 
or burnt out all the time so let me share yesterday i went to lunch with my mom and i didn't really do anything yesterday like nothing productive the only thing that i did yesterday that i needed to do was i posted on all the social media accounts that i run or at least plan to post on them today and i planned out what i was going to post so that was good but that was the only thing that i did and that's not enough for me so today i wake up and my mind is literally racing like i want to relax and i was planning on having like a pj day and like coloring in one of my adult coloring books that was what i wanted to do for self-care today but at the same time i'm like i should work out today i need to go to buy christmas presents for some friends and i know you're thinking didn't you already do that yes i did but i forgot that buying christmas presents for friends is a concept <laughs> i only bought them for my family so i got one from a friend and i was like crap i did not do this for anybody so i'm gonna go buy christmas presents for friends i sold something off of poshmark i need to drop off i have some things for work i need to do because we're doing like a website relaunch type of thing in january so i want to make sure the website is ready for that i also have like social media posts to get ready for today like i mentioned i planned them yesterday i have youtube videos to edit i was cleaning the hole downstairs on monday but because monday was so overwhelming for some reason i did not clean the kitchen so the kitchen really needs to be cleaned everything else is fine and those are like the primary things on my mind and i'm like so overwhelmed even though saying it i guess it doesn't sound like a lot what should i do first and like how can i use my time the most efficiently and how can i make sure all of these things get done in a timely manner and i'm just like my mind is racing trying to figure that out and i know it's not that deep and i know some people listening will not understand this is just the reality that i live in and so First things first, I'm going to spend time with Jesus and just remind myself that I'm not what I do and <laughs> my identity is found in Christ and not found in what I do and even if I didn't do any of those things today, I would still be loved and valuable. That's what I need to remind myself because that's the inner lie that I believe and I need to continue to fight that. So that's what I'm going to do. But I wanted to share what really goes on in my mind and then we'll decide what we're going to do after that. Okay, so now I am heading off to Target to buy my friend's Christmas presents. Then I'm going to the post office, got some things to drop off, sitting right there. And I also am going to go on a walk because, you know, we need that from time to time so I am gonna go run those little errands and also I just spent like an hour and a half editing my finals week vlog so that'll obviously be up before this one so you should check it out because I'm really proud of it and I think it's a fun vlog so you should go watch it but anyways I'll see you in Target while I'm shopping for friends. I'm gonna do a little haul of what I got my friends because by the time this video goes up, they should already have it. So I got a little couple gift for our friends that just started dating and we joke that we're hibernation couples and we like to spend time alone at our homes slash apartments so I thought that these mugs would be cute because there's a pink and a blue one and one of them says love you mean it and the other one says best person ever 
So I was like, that's cute. For that same couple, I got them the game We're Not Strangers, but the couple edition. I hope it's appropriate. I've never played it, so I hope it's not weird and gross, but I think they'll like it. Then just for Alec and I, I got salt and pepper shakers. Random, but we need those. And then for my other friend, I got her this candle. She just moved into a house, so I thought she would like this. It kind of matches her vibe too. And then I'm going to order her a devotional because she mentioned wanting a devotional. So that's what I got there. And then the last thing that I got, I actually may have gotten a clip of this when we were at Target last night, the garden journal. But my friend Venmoed me after she saw my Instagram story and told me to get this. And she gave me just enough money to buy this journal. And I was like, I'm so excited. So now I get this little garden journal and I'm going to plan a garden. That's so cute. So I'm so excited about this. But that's my little haul. I can't believe it's 4.30 and we're running out of daylight already. I mean, I don't mind hibernation time. But I just need more time to do work. And my work involves light. Right, Alex? <laughs> You're rolling your eyes on me? I rolled my whole head. <laughs> he's working. It looks like he's working hard, but... <laughs> and I'm working. I've been working on my Files Week vlog, like, all day, basically. But... I think it's almost done. Yeah. Like two thirds of the way. So that's almost. Alec and I cooked dinner and it took forever because we were doing some cool new recipes. So we had breaded pork chops, these cheesy bacon, potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. So it was really good. I really liked it. And after dinner, I cleaned the entire kitchen because I was supposed to do it I think on Monday is when I was planning on doing it and I didn't get to the kitchen. And so I just finished it, but look how pretty it looks. It looks so nice. There's just something about a clean kitchen. I don't know what to tell you. I just love it. So the plan for the rest of the evening is to watch a Christmas movie, eat Christmas cookies and hot chocolate. Duh, all of those things. So I'm going to get that set up and I'll show you how I set it up. All of the vibes, the vibes are important. I already got the Christmas tree. Thursday so countdown is day four four more days until Christmas so what I'm doing right now is I'm eating breakfast I have a bagel and chocolate milk because yeah <laughs> and I'm also gonna watch a Chelsea Trevor YouTube video I like her videos and then I'm gonna start editing another video can you believe that it's kind of like i'm doing vlogmas but not really so i have another video i'll edit today and i'm also in my gym workout clothes right now so i'm going to the gym today so that's kind of the situation <music> my 
my OOTD. Pretty simple. But I have this American Eagle like Christmassy crew neck here. American Eagle jeans and my Nikes. And we're going to an escape room tonight with my brothers. So I just wanted something chill, casual, just to hang out with them. So that's what this is for. So I just realized that I promised my Nana I would bring a charcuterie board to Christmas Eve, which is two days away. And I definitely have time to do it, but we're about to get a huge freeze and I don't want to leave my house. <laughs> so today's like my only day before the freeze comes to do it. I'm going to go right now. And I got this cute picture off of Pinterest. I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to do that. It's so cute. So let's see if I can go buy the stuff. I know it's going to be a zoo at the store. So hopefully I can get everything. Alec and I quickly went shopping. Then we got everything we need for the charcuterie board. So I'll show you that on Saturday. You'll watch us build it probably. But I also ended up getting a rosemary plant. So that's fun because <laughs> rosemary is on my board so I can add it to my plant collection yay I'm making these red lobster biscuits if you know you know these things slap so we're making those and then I'm also making this Panera soup we really have all the name brand things today but that's what I'm making for dinner morning we are now three days away from christmas the storm last night was crazy alec and i hardly slept because of how loud it was how much rain and wind there was so that's why it's one o'clock and i just got out of the shower and i changed into this american eagle sweat set because it's freezing outside i think the high is going to be 15 degrees which is unheard of for the area that we live in. So I just will not be going anywhere. I'm just so unmotivated to do anything because of our evening last night. So I got some breakfast this morning and Alec and I watched Gilmore Girls while he was working. And I think now I should actually do something responsible. So... I think what I'm probably going to do is we are trying to go to Europe for my graduation trip. So I'm going to apply for passports probably. I guess you'll see this cozy random day at home. went to the store to buy covers for our faucets because it's gonna freeze again tonight so I'm cooking dinner and I'm gonna make chicken parmesan so let me show you where I'm at I just got the chicken in the egg and bread crumb batter here and I'm about to fry it on the oven but it says it to let it sit for a little bit I just found this chicken parmesan recipe online so I'll link it for you but it's been pretty easy. I just put salt and pepper in the chicken. I doused it in egg and then this batter is breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese. It also told me to put flour on the chicken so I did that too. So pretty easy so far. finished my book all i want for christmas by maggie knox and i gave it four out of five stars because it was like the cheesy hallmark movie book that i wanted it to be but it's very predictable obviously so that's why i gave it four out of five stars but now we are ending off our cozy staying in the house hibernation day by coloring so, as you saw earlier, 
I have my adult coloring book. Alec doesn't have a coloring book, so he printed off a page from... Do you need a light? Yeah, I can't see. I don't know how you do this. Well, we have lights on, but I thought that was enough. No. Can you see when you're coloring? Yeah. <laughs> We're back in our kindergarten roots here. Coloring away while we watch Gilmore Girls. And that's the end of the evening. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. And let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me. Because I love to do this for you. And I will see you guys whenever I see you next. Bye, guys.